What's up, YouTube? I'm back. This is Deanna with the Fiery Whisk. Um, so today we are going to bake some bread the easy way. Okay. I don't have it like a starter and all of that. But what I do have is this. That's my bread machine. <laughs> That's how I make bread. So we're going to run through um, a basic white bread recipe. I'm sorry. I think there's a glare on my glasses um, from the window. So let's see. There you go. Is that any better? <laughs> so we're going to do basic white bread. And the key to this is putting the ingredients into the bread pan in the exact order that the recipe calls for. Using exact ingredients and putting them in in the exact order that the recipe says. Don't try and variate, be creative, any of that. Just go in order, okay? So I am going to walk over here and I am going to remove my bread box, as I call it, from my bread maker, okay? This is really interesting right here. When you take it out, um, anything you have inside, any liquid comes like shooting out the hole. So you have to make sure that it's in there. And then the only thing about that is like the, this right here. And then that little knob, it, you know, shows after you bake the bread, but it's okay because the bread tastes so good. It's worth it. So I'm going to start my water because you want to start out with hot water. Um, the recipe says 85 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so what I like to do is my water gets pretty hot, so I just wait until it's really hot to the touch and then I put it in here. We're going to do one cup of, it's hot, it's ready, one cup of hot water, and I like to get it exactly right, like to the brim, okay? So we're going to do that. We're going to put in the hot water first, okay? And then goes in one tablespoon of butter, which I have ready. And after you place it in there, the hot water starts to melt it really nicely. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of dry milk powder. Now I have to tell you, since the whole COVID thing, the dry milk powder and the yeast have been really hard to find, but I found them on Amazon. Here, let me move this over so you can see it. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle in the dry milk powder now right over the top of the water and the butter. Okay, and then we're going to add sugar. So it calls for one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Um, hang on, let me just clean this out real quick. Okay, so we're going to do one and a half. I just do half of the one. Okay, sugar. And then it calls for three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. So I have my teaspoon waiting for me over here. I don't like to measure salt over the bowl that I'm preparing my food in because if it gets crazy, and like spews out, everything I put in there is ruined. So three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, right in there. And then we're gonna add the flour, which I have over here. Oh no, I spilled some yeast, my precious yeast. Okay, so we're gonna do two and a fourth cups of flour. So we want them just right. One, two, and one fourth. All right. And then lastly, um, the recipe tells us to add the yeast, okay? Which is rapid, like instant yeast, okay? There's different kinds of yeast. So you've got traditional yeast, and then you've got like an instant, like, um, rapid quick rise yeast. So this one is the rapid quick rise and it's one and a half teaspoons. This I'll measure over here because if it spills in a little and I get a little extra, you know, poof, that's okay. All right, so we've got one and a half a teaspoon. So this little pack right here, usually it'll make two of these loaves, but um, Sometimes it'll, it'll give me two and then a, a little more for the next one. So basically that's it. You've got everything in here. See the yeast on top? And I'm gonna go pop it back into my bread maker. And all 
friend of mine gave this to me years ago. And I've just taken really good care of it, and I still have it. All right, so we pop it in, we close the lid, and then um, we get program select, which mine is already set. So it's set for bread, and it gives this one gives me options if I want light, medium, or dark loaf. Um, I like a medium loaf. So that's what mine is set on, and all I do is press start, and it starts kneading. Now, it's a long process. I don't think you can see that, but it says three hours and 40 minutes. But that includes everything. That includes the kneading, the rising, the baking, and the cooling. So um, we're going to have to wait. Well, you're not, but I am. I'm going to have to wait like three, over three hours uh, to finish this video to show you the loaf of bread. But you know what? It's so worth it because there's no preservatives in here. So yeah, it may not last as long like on the shelf as a standard loaf of bread, but the taste is absolutely amazing. So let me let that bake up and then I will be back. Uh, pretty much guaranteed this time that it, it won't be light outside. I know I've said that before, but like three and a half hours. Yeah, but it's okay. We'll come back. I'll show you how to remove it from the pan and then, you know, we'll have a taste. See you in a few.